Hey, this is Rich Thurman with Small Business Community, and I just want to thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And uh, if this is your first time uh, viewing us, please make sure that you click the subscribe button and click the bell so you get notified when we create new content. And uh, we are committed that we produce useful and helpful information that can help you in your business and whatever your hustle is. So with that, let's get started. So today I'm going to be talking about the importance of establishing a good workflow. So improving productivity is a necessity for a contractor or a service person or anybody in business who services multiple clients. Without a system in place that establishes good workflow, it can really be difficult to keep up the momentum and take on enough clients to earn a good living. But if you could establish a good workflow for the type of work you perform, you'll be able to take on more clients, work faster, smarter, and make more money. So I have nine points that I'll go over that will help you with this. So number nine, develop package rates. One of the best things you can do for your business is try to develop as much as possible package rates for your work. Then you will avoid, most of the time, having to track your time. Time tracking for multiple clients can be a big interruption that you don't want to have to do if you can avoid it. Number eight, create checklists for each project. When you do the same types of projects over and over again, creating a checklist to help guide you and others through each project will keep you on task and avoid forgetting important aspects of the project. Remember, pilots use checklists every single time to avoid forgetting something. You should too. Number seven, deliverables first. Before crafting your workflow, focus on your deliverables first and then work your way backward to today to figure out what needs to be done first. Then start with the first things first. Using your checklist to ensure that you don't forget something, adding what you need to do to the calendar. Number six, draw your workflow. Seeing the workflow visually can help you identify areas that you left out or forgot. You can actually use checklists for a generic project to create a workflow. For example, the workflow for publishing an ebook might look like this. For instance, the workflow for publishing an ebook might look like this. First, you research your niche, then, you develop a topic, then, you create a title, then, you outline the book, then, you uh, write the front matter, then, you write the end matter, and then, you design the ebook cover, and then so forth. Right? When you draw it out instead of writing it, you can more easily see the things that can be done simultaneously and what has to be done in order. Number five, use a project management system. Using a project management system like Monday.com or Basecamp.com or Asana or Teamwork is a good way to get yourself and your clients organized from day one. These systems already have some ways to organize the work so that you don't have to actually create everything from scratch each time. Number four, Use other people's workflows. If you do a quick Google search for workflows and then fill in the topics such as self-publishing, writing an ebook, you know, creating a podcast, creating a website, uh, you can find workflows that are already written. While you can't sell those, you can use them to modify the ideas for your own and use them privately. Number three, try out your workflow. Before considering a workflow set in stone, Try it out from step one with a real project of your own to ensure that you didn't leave out something. This is your chance to improve it by asking someone else to try it. Number two, ask others to try out your workflows. Send the workflow to someone else that you know also works on the same type of projects as you do. Whether it's someone on your team or a colleague, ask them for feedback. And number one, refine and improve. A workflow is actually never set in stone. As technology improves and clients' needs change, your workflow will evolve. That's what's great about drawing them out and creating them in the first place. Your workflows over time can only get better. So final thoughts. Workflow design is essential to your success as a contractor who takes on the projects of multiple clients. Ensure that you develop your workflows based on the services that you offer so that your project management practically runs itself over time. So thank you for taking the time to watch this video. Our videos and articles are always practical and useful. So make sure you sign up for our membership. Links in uh, the description below. Um, and the best thing, honestly, that you can do is to share this with somebody else. 
Um, and don't forget to click subscribe and click the uh, bell so that you get uh, notified the next time we create another video. And I'll see you in the next video.